Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm out here in Old Florida Off-Road Park, hanging out with Mary and Jeep crew, doing some things, getting in some stuff, and I'm about to get out of here for the day. So what I want to do is I want to show y'all something. So every now and then I get these parts from these companies and stuff like that. They want me to check out. I'm just like everybody else, you know, they send you stuff. And this company, they sent me this air compressor. Now, if you've seen me in my past videos, one I had where I had the Maxi Track compressor. It did good for the time that I had. I still have it actually, but it's home. And then I, got, I used to use a uh, Ryobi portable one with, uh, with the batteries off of the, that goes to the drills and everything else, 20 volt. But this company sent me this one and they said, hey, give it a shot, see what you like. So I'm gonna show y'all what it's like. So now as you see, it's just like the Maxi Track and a few of the other ones on the market. It's a dual piston. Um, basic design but with this one I like the way it's made the casing is a little more sturdy and the crazy thing is I've already run this on three tires already and it's still not even good warm yet now tomorrow when I come back out here I'm gonna show y'all what it's like when you're airing up all four tires at the same time and how long it takes which I'm imagine it's gonna be pretty fast but I'll show y'all that tomorrow but today since I forgot to bring my four-way air kit I'm only showing you one tire at a time but check it out. I'm not going to show you all four tires. I already pumped up three of the tires. Because one of the things when you're dealing with these small compressors is that the duty cycles and over time they get hot. And then the efficiency goes. And then the efficiency goes down. Yeah, I jacked that word up. Y'all heard that. <laughs> anyway, it goes down and it's not efficient. So, I've already aired up three tires. And I'm going to air up the fourth one with this thing. Being that it should be already a little hot now, we're gonna see how long this thing takes. It ain't gonna burn up. Hold on, let's see. It only took a minute and 20 seconds to air up one tire to like 27, 28 pounds. I only run like 26 to 28 pounds anyway. So it took a minute and 20 seconds to get it there. Now the other test is gonna be is when I got my four-way air kit tomorrow and I'll pump up all four at a time and we'll see how long that takes. But with any of my other compressors, they never pump one tire up that fast, so it should be better. So already I'm impressed and like I said, coming from the other three tires that's already done that means it's already been running that means it should have already been hot and the efficiency should have y'all see i had to slow that down i didn't want to mess that word up again it should have gone down because it should have been hot but it still performed so i'm gonna come back at y'all tomorrow when i gotta pump up all four tires at a time and we're gonna see what it does then so that's our tip for the day. We'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up everybody? So I'm back at you. Now it's a little bit windy out here and cars going by, so I apologize for the noise. I'll try to speak up so y'all can hear me. Hope I'm not yelling at y'all. Now I go off-roading like every other weekend. So me needing to know how long it's gonna take to air up all four tires, at the same time, using my homemade air kit, I kinda need to know. So. I got it all set up. I got my tires down to about eight pounds of pressure. I got my spare battery over here that I keep in my Jeep for just anything. And I got a life-size stopwatch for y'all to check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this thing up. And just so you know, I can use my digital air gauge here, but I'm not gonna do that because Fazalas, they actually sent, you know, their own connections and own pressure gauge and everything, like I showed you in the last video. And if you're gonna test out this compressor, you might as well test out the equipment that they send too, right? That's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this negative cable over here, turn this thing on, and we're gonna see how long it takes. Pay attention. Now I'm only putting about 26 to 28 pounds of pressure in this thing, because that's all I run. At the most, I run 28, if at least I run 26, and 
I'm using an analog gauge, so it's gonna be kind of hard, but I'm gonna get it right though, so we'll see. I got my 26 pounds of pressure. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now here's the thing. It may have taken nine minutes. If I had a tank hooked up to it, it'd be different. You may say, well, I got a compressor faster, but here's the thing, and starting to rain. This is what you got to worry about. Not even hot, because once these things start getting hot, not just this one, but any compressor, the efficiency goes down. Then you're standing there waiting for it to cool off. Do you really want to do that? No. But what you want to worry about, especially when you're dealing with these smaller compressors, these smaller 12 volt compressors, is them getting hot. Because I've seen compressors shut off on the trail, whether it's in a single piston or a dual piston, I've seen them shut off a lot because they overheat. And I can tell you this one's not even hot. I know y'all can't feel it, but I can. Um, it's pretty good, it's warm. So I'd say this is a good compressor. I ain't got no problem with it. Did what I needed to do, got it to the pressure I needed it at. Hey, I ain't got no problem with it. So y'all know what it is, cause the last four by four, off-road, air compression, dual piston, with the hoses, get it done, make it happen, get off the trail, get home, one piece, stay safe, don't forget to smile, go out and change your life, and don't forget to change somebody else's life. You know, my life is getting changed right now because I'm getting wet. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Y'all have fun. Take it easy.